Now that you understand what missing values are, how to count them, and how they operate, let's scale these up to more detailed summaries of missingness. We need to summarize missing data to identify variables, cases, or patterns of missingness, as these can bias our data analysis. There are two main summaries, basic and data frame summaries. Basic summaries return a single number, like the number of missing or complete values, using n miss or n complete. However, you will need more detailed missingness summaries to help you on your journey through a data analysis. This lesson introduces you to missing data summaries. Narnia provides a family of functions, all starting with miss underscore, which each provide different summaries of missingness and return a data frame. This allows us to see features that can be difficult to articulate or time consuming to calculate. For example, miss var summary and miss case summary return the number and percentage of missings in each variable or case. These summaries work with dplyr's group by, so you can fluidly explore missingness by each group. Use misvar summary to summarize the number of missings in each variable. This returns a data frame where each row is a variable. It also includes summaries of the number and percentage of missings for each variable in the data set, and is sorted by the number of missings. For example, ozone has 37 missing values and is about 24.2% missing. Similar to Miss Var summary, Miss Case summary returns a summary data frame where each case represents a row in the data set. Here, case 5, the fifth row in the data set, has two missing values, which means 33% of that case is missing. Tabulation of missingness counts the number of times that there are 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on missings. They are very useful, compact summaries that reveal interesting structure. MISVAR table returns a data frame with the number of missings in a variable and the number and percentage of variables affected. For example, there are four variables with no missings detected, which corresponds to 66.7% of the variables, and there is one variable with seven missings and one variable with 37 missings. Similarly, MISCASE table returns the same information, but for cases. We can also look at missingness over a given span or run for a given variable using misvar span and misvar run. These can be really useful for data with many regular measurements, like time series data. Misvar span calculates the number of missings in a variable for a repeating span. This is really useful in time series data to look for weekly, that is, seven day patterns of missingness. Misvar span returns a data frame with columns span counter, which identifies the span, the first, the second, and so on, and also includes the number and proportion of missing and complete values. For example, in span 10, there are 432 missings and 3,568 complete values. Note also that n miss plus n complete equals the span. Here, this is a span of 4,000. And out of these 4,000 values in this span, 0 0.108 are missing and 0 0.892 are complete, given by prop miss and prop complete. Misvar run returns the runs or streaks of missingness. This is useful to try and find unusual patterns of missingness. It returns the length of the run of complete and missing data. This is particularly useful for finding repeating patterns of missingness. Sometimes you are interested in missingness for groups in the data. Each missingness summary function can actually be calculated by group using group by from dplyr. For example, we can look at the missingness by month in the air quality data set. Here we see that month five for ozone has five missings, but month six for ozone has 21 missings. Now, 